So if you come down here to the beach sometime between the end of May and sometime in October, you're gonna see what we have here behind me is all of these sea turtle nesting areas where people have found out where the sea turtles have laid their eggs and they have put protective stakes around them to make everyone aware that there's a nest there. So I'm gonna turn this around. So we've got a few here. There's actually two here. If you see these, make sure you don't mess with them. Don't uh, throw things near there. Pick up all your trash. If you see something trash-wise that's in between these turtle nests, we got a bunch of them here, and I know that the uh, different colored markings uh, mean something. Some of them are loggerhead turtles, some of them are green turtles that come here and nest on our beaches. All of these sea turtles are going to be hatching here. We've already had some hatch on July 1st. There was a post that I saw. We've already had some sea turtles hatching, so be aware they at nighttime they tell you not to have any lights on near the beach because if there's turtles hatching it can confuse them and cause them to go the wrong direction and go away from the ocean and thus putting them in danger from other animals and stuff eating them so uh, this nest over here some of these look like they've been a little bit upset so i don't know if these have already hatched or not or if they're in the process of getting ready to hatch. But sometime in the next few months, all of these sea turtles, these baby sea turtles, are gonna be hatching. They're gonna be making their way to the ocean and we don't wanna leave anything on the beach that's gonna get in the way. We don't wanna leave anything on the beach that's gonna cause them to uh, not be able to make it to the ocean. If you did a big sand castle or something, those baby sea turtles can get caught in your sand castle. You have a big moat around there, they don't know to go around it, they're gonna try to go through it. So at the end of the day, when you're done, I don't care how immaculate your castle is, just level it out. So if there's a sea turtle nest behind where you were at the beach, level your castle out, make sure all your trash is picked up. And if you're out here at night, don't have a bunch of lights on. Um, even the pier lights, they, I believe they, they put just minimal pier lights on, on top of the pier, not going down into the water um, because some of them are up near the shore and they don't want to confuse these sea turtles. So just wanted to make you aware of sea turtle season and a few tips of how you can make sure that these baby sea turtles make it to the ocean as safely as possible. If you like this content, push that like, push the subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I go online. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to swim with fish in a natural springs in Florida. So click this link here to this video and you can check that video out next.